Good morning, my lovely sugar plums. Vita here back with another collective message. Please take what resonates, kick rocks to the rest. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Whoa. All right. Make no mistake about it. I am watching you. There is a persistent little bugger in your energy collective. They're watching you and they want you to know that they are watching you. Do you care though? Do you care? Huh, what's this say? <laughs> I can't read my writing. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. So make no mistake about it. You are making moves, okay? If things don't feel like they're moving for you in the way that you want them to move, sit tight because they are. And it does not matter who is watching you. Let them watch. You are the storm that demolishes my heart over and over again. How pi piotic. <laughs> Poetic. Poetic, I must have been in a poetic mood, or the guides were. You are the storm. You're the storm. Demolition man. My heart over and over again. Someone, this this energy, this stubborn bug right here who can't stop watching you is looking at you as a storm. You've demolished this person's heart. They could be a little angry, but that's okay. You might be used to making people angry without even trying. It might be a lovely trait that you have. Let's get some more intel here. May he send you the help. You are being sent help from above. Whatever storm you might be going through or have come through, you will succeed. Someone's heart is demolished. Expectation. And it turned face down so this person their expectations of what they could possibly get from you at this point are very low pathway you've uh, moved on you continue to move forward in love and light with a little bit of spicy i don't know whatever kind of spice you like somebody's kicking dirt man someone's kicking dirt May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. You are being supported at this time. Marriage. Marriage. Pathway. What's behind pathway? Bad health. So there could be someone that is in a partnership, a marriage, or not. The pathway, bad health, change, lovers, community, High honor, privileged lady, coffin, false person. There's someone that is involved with a, uh, it's a coupling or decoupling, something like that. Something's breaking down for this person whose heart is uh, feeling demonic, demolished, demolished, demonic, almost came through. This person could be looking at you literally as if you have a little bit of a demon in you. They just can't understand how it is that you have all of this power over them. And no matter what they do, no matter who they go with, move to, they can't escape your energy. They feel like you've sucked them dry. This person is looking at you like you've, you've done me in. You've done me in and I want you to stop. Someone wants you to stop. Let's get another card for marriage from the same Kipper deck. marriage this and if you are um wanting to get married or if this is something that you've been manifesting it, it's coming because we, this is may he send you this the help the support so you're being supported child here this could be a new beginning or this could be the energy of this other person that can't stop watching you that's just very concerned about you moving forward Maybe you're expecting a child 
or your child is expecting a child, what's behind concern, false person. So there's some false energy up in here, some Decepticons. Don't know what they're up to, but let's keep going. Wise expectation here. Expectation, remember it did fall out face down. Someone's fallen on their face. Flat face, flat feet. Someone's got flat feet. Oh, here we are. Concern. Concern. High honor. Community. You could be uh, doing some work that involves a lot of people. Your influence is uh, being seen, heard. You could be an influencer. You could be a leader. Um, or you're being placed into this position where you just have to be respected no matter what we do have let me backtrack just a little bit and get a clarifier for make no mistake about it i am watching you oh and then look here at the very bottom we have i can never forget you your absence will haunt me forever so and then that ink matches this ink here with this storm so i don't think you uh Whoever you are, you don't get pleasure from uh, having this effect on people. It might be something that you don't even admit to yourself, that you don't even see in yourself. But make no uh, bones about it. You have a lot of power. Your energy is magnetic. And there are a lot of people that feel sucked in by you. So let's get a clarifier for make no mistake about it. I am watching you. Courtship, it's not really kind of balanced out. So this person watching you really does want to uh, ask you out. But remember, expectations was face down. They've got, they don't feel that this is possible. And they're concerned. They're concerned because they can't move on. This person might have gotten married. They might even have a child. Uh, they thought that this was going to be some dynamic new beginning for them, and it's something has really uh, hit home, slashed their heart. This person, nothing they do, they can't feed their soul right now. Thoughts. So this person here, this energy, is thinking very heavily about you. Could be a Gemini, because Gemini is behind this. And then we have... You will marry me someday. I will not have it any other way. We already have marriage out here with child. So this could very well go either way. You could have someone new. You could have someone from your past. There's uh, the energy of watching, right? We get that quite a bit in these readings. Um, yeah, man. <sighs> Someone sees your success. Maybe you don't see your success, but there are other people that see your success. They want to know how you do it. Someone wants some tips from you. Someone wants some advice. You give good counsel, thoughts, privileged lady. Someone could see you as this privileged person, pathway. You're on your way to privilege, change. You've made a lot of changes in your life. <clears throat> you are a different person than what you what you've been maybe even in prior lives wherever you originate from you know you've just uh you change and evolve so much and it's an admirable trait to be able to look at yourself and see things that perhaps you know you could improve and you go about doing that daily because life no matter how treacherous it might feel at times is about living fully right? Living fully. Oh, spraying all over my cards. What the hell? Child. Let's get a clarifier for child. Oh, this is landing on top of marriage. We've got nine of swords and we have justice here. So there is someone that just feels like, you know, this marriage is a nightmare or they wished that they would have married you. Their life has been a nightmare ever since you've moved on, moved away. You could have had a lot of nightmares as a child. Something about your childhood. 
something about marriage. Maybe you were raised by parents that fought a lot, so you might have had a uh, interesting idea of what marriage is, what it entails fully, exactly, something like that. Someone has misconceptions about what a marriage should be, what it's meant to be. 3D, someone thinks of marriage, the idea of marriage is just very 3D, basic. Everyone is entitled to their opinions. Child, let's get another card for child. I'm going to leave the Nine of Swords where it landed. This is flipping in the deck. We have Five of Cups, clarifying child. Uh, I don't like to say someone regrets having a child, but that is a, unfortunately a sentiment that a lot of people do have. Um, this could be someone that's uh, left a child behind for whatever reasons, or there's someone that is dealing with childhood wounds, abandonment issues, or uh, this could simply be an aspect, a fragment of who you are, what this person sees you as being, and that's this childlike energy. You light up a room. Your, your laughter could be very infectious. And uh, you're, you're missed. You're very missed by more than one person. Let's get a card for concern. Number 33. Master number 33. Someone could be 33. Born in 1933. An ancestor. Parent. We've got Knave of Cups and it's sideways. So yeah, back to that offer. Back to that apology. Someone needs clarity. They can't move on. Knight of Wands. This person regrets being somewhat of a mischievous soul when it comes to a love interest. They wish, they wish, they wish they would have treated you better. Male or female. Take it how it might apply to your situation, if at all. We've got four of cops here. Discontentment, dissatisfaction, no ideas. The paper is blank here. This person is lacking in energy, inspiration, not sleeping well, midnight hour, working long hours, not getting anywhere, putting in too much effort and not seeing results. Someone's putting in a lot of effort, so they feel when it comes to your energy, they're not seeing any results. This person could be trying to manifest you like daily astral witchcraft even is coming through could be some sort of group dynamic let's get a card for expectation 28 breaks down to a 10 expectation oh what was that i just saw a card flip okay this is in the reverse and it is the tower in the reverse to a swords you are the storm that demolishes my heart over and over again. And as you see, this is a storm here. There's a storm here and there's a beast here, tentacles. So it feels like this person, no matter how far they move away from you, they just can't evade the storm. It happens over and over again. So maybe this person thought they were over you and now it's coming back around again, this feeling, this sensation. <clears throat> excuse me, of you that they can't shake. Someone can't shake your energy. Why thoughts here? Oops, let's turn this back around. Thoughts. They can't shake your energy. Thoughts is landing on Nine of Swords with marriage, and we've got judgment. And Two of Swords again at the bottom. They just didn't see their life ending up this way. Someone didn't see their life ending up this way. They're really trying to change. They want to believe in rainbows. They want to believe in God. They want to believe in heaven. They want to escape hell. Let's get a card for thoughts. Whoa. This is landing here. Like This is kind of like a, feels like a void area. Here we have seven of pentacles. And it landed on top of this knave of cups sideways between judgment and nine of swords we'll leave it here investing replanning replanning reshaping making something new again high priestess 
trying to tap into this intuitive nature that you possess so deeply and easily. Two of Wands, there's some discussion about you going on behind the curtain when it comes to your intuitive gifts and abilities. You're very intriguing. Someone is very intrigued by you. This could be a job opportunity as well. This could be a job that you've left already and someone is trying to get you back, woo you back in. You might be interested, you might not. Thoughts. Someone could be an artist. Oh, look at that. The high priestess came out. Clarifying thoughts. It's still landing kind of right here in this zone. So this is like a zone here. There's a void here in the middle. High priestess thoughts. Ace of swords. You speak your truth. You could be in the truth telling business. It is your business to speak the truth. That's how you make your money. Something about how you make your money it's got someone thinking, like, how is it that you're able to make your money this way? You could be having an increase in finances that is becoming apparent to others. You could be calling in a new soul tribe, telepathic. Telepathic communication is indeed picking up quite a bit, I feel, in the collective. People are finding each other. Let's get a card for Privileged Lady. Privileged lady, we've got eight of wands. So you're making moves. Look, eight of swords. Someone's very stuck in their head about you. They're just not, they're going to come back around, okay? Uh, but they don't want you to see them coming. And that's what they're really afraid of. That's a tower too, that they know that you'll know when they're arriving. Something about arrival. Let's get a card for five of cups. So Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Mental uh, disruption. Mental disruption. Not able to really pay much attention. This person could have a very short attention span. They're not able to get their ideas down out of their mind. The ideas just kind of keep churning. But there's no... Uh, nothing's being manifested from these ideas. There's a lack of blockage. Five of Cups. <clears throat> Oh, these cards are so hard to shuffle. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is clarified by King of Pentagrams. So this is a King of Pentacles energy. Here we've got this Six of Bones. We're, we've been seeing the Six of Wands energy quite a bit. So there's something. See now we got this Five of Pentacles behind the Six of Wands. And then we've got this four of cups so we're right back to square one and that's what it feels like with this king of pentacle pentacles pentagrams he's no matter what he or she does they they might feel like they're in control they might feel like they have a lot they might even know that they're being seen as someone that possesses a lot of ingenuity power etc however they feel stuck very stuck this could involve a child in fact Someone could be a parent and wish, they wish that they would have done things differently when it comes to this child who, who could be a teenager up or like a early 20s, something like that. There's some disappointment when it comes to child rearing. Okay, Whew, goodness. Someone's got a lot on their mind. They have a lot that they want to say to you. Let's get a card for this Nine of Swords, which was clarified by the Judgment card. Here we have Page of Bones, Page of Wands, Nine of Swords, Strength. Someone's trying to gather their strength to deal with you. There's a marriage where there might be no communication between the two energies. Both could feel as if their lives are colliding. There's a vortex here, stuck energy. Or not stuck, it's just spinning someone or two people around and around. They can't seem to escape each other. There's something going on with this marriage here. Page of Bones, a message, an idea. Six of Pentacles. Someone wants to collaborate with you. Lovers here, partnership. 
This could be someone just wanting to marry you for sure. They just don't know how to do it. This could be someone that you dated. Maybe even just briefly, you didn't feel like there were any feelings there from your end, their end. But here they are. Thinking, thinking, trying to figure out how to make this happen. Someone wants to make something happen with you for sure. And again, this could be a new or past person. Doesn't have to necessarily be a past person. Oh, but it feels like it. <laughs> okay, let's get a card for judgment. Page of Bones. Being enthusiastic. Someone's enthusiastic, but fear stops them. Someone is allowing fear to stop their forward movement. Fear of making a bad choice. Here we've got the Wheel of Fortune, clarifying judgment, two majors, and here we've got the Seven of Pentacles again. We already have the Seven of Pentacles out, clarifying judgment. So that's come out two times. So I feel like with this privileged lady here too, this is about your destiny, about what you're moving toward, um, about your labor being like the work that you've put into whatever is being paid off. You're going to see, if you're not already, seeing the small dividends that are going to continue to increase. So there's going to be an increase. Monumental just came to mind when it comes to your finances. And uh, someone sees that. Someone sees that. And by the same token, like I said, there's feels like there's two energies. And with the Seven of Pentacles coming out twice, there is external energy that wants to invest with you. For sure. Whether that's love, business, both. But there's some sort of concentrated effort that you might not um, see just now. But there's, there's something percolating in the background for sure when it comes to investment. So if you do have a business, you've got someone... That's got an idea. They want to uh, contribute to your business. Um, but make no mistake about it. Whoever these investors are, they want a return on their investment. Investors, smart, savvy investors do not invest in anything that they don't believe they can get a return. No matter what that is. And a lot of times that is very applicable when it comes to love relationships. Let's get a card for Seven of Pentacles. It's already out twice. Let's see what else we get. Huh. This is landing on this King of Pentagrams, and this is a Five of Cups again. And lo and behold, we already have the Five of Cups out that was being clarified by the King of Pentagrams. So here we've got four swords. So um, it's pretty safe to say that this King of of pentagrams is a past energy could be two past energies i'm getting two two options or maybe these aren't even options for you maybe you're like whatever skadoodle you know skadoodle i'm busy i don't know but we got five of cups twice so we got a lot of repeat energy it feels like there's two people that are in regret for not investing in you when they should have and the wheel spun and you're this high priestess energy. And you've, uh, you're have you spiritually privileged, no doubt about it. So if you're not seeing um, what you feel like is privileged in the monetary aspect of it, uh, that's coming. But there's something that you're man maintaining. There's something that you did a while ago that's coming back around. For sure. For sure. And it's stirring up a lot of memories with different people. And this could be your energy. They're being very careful, very calculated in what you are investing in now and moving forward. You're not going to make the same decisions that you once made to get you where you are now. And where you are now might not be a terrible place to be at all. It might be totally groovy, but you're ready to move to the next level. So you're concentrating on how am I going to get to the next level? I'm going to get to the next level by making different choices or I'm going to make similar choices, but I'm going to spin it a little bit. I'm going to add to it. I'm going to add to the sauce, right? You're going to add to the sauce. The sauce tasted great 
last night or last week, whatever, spaghetti sauce, whatever. But you know what? You want it a little spicier. You want a little more depth. You want the flavor to last a little longer. There's something that you are doing moving forward that is going to change your existence as you want it to be, as you envision something about your vision, what you're seeing for yourself that maybe others always saw in you since you were a child, but you didn't see. But there's something very clear that you're now seeing about yourself. And so you are making different decisions when it comes to who and why you invest your energy and where, where, where is very important. Did I even get a card? What the? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm losing track. Someone's losing track of time. Someone feels like time is just moving way too fast. Knave of chalices, cups, sideways. I'm just going to leave that five of cups here with the king of pentagrams. There's, I'm not going to get much more clarity on the seven of pentacles. I don't feel like. Here we've got the five of swords. Clarifying this knave of cups. And here we've got this eight of cups. So you left, you left, you left abruptly. You might have uh, really told people how you, how you feel about them, how you feel about a situation. Maybe you told some truths that you had been holding on to because you wanted to be kind. You like to treat people kindly. You don't like conflict. But there's something here in the situation where you had enough. And now this person is looking back at all the conflict conflict that they might have even of caused behind your back someone was bringing conflict to you someone that you're no longer dealing with a friend a lover a family member that was bringing too much drama and you you had enough you cut that you cut them off they want to come back they want to apologize but they're not sure if you will receive them they want you to though let's get a card for tower there's finance here, though. There, so there's, this could be a money deal, some sort of money deal that you feel uh, more people benefited from than you did. And uh, something didn't sit right with you about it. So folks could be receiving some uh, judgments that they didn't anticipate. Literal judgments, court judgments. Okay, we've got two cards. Judgment. <laughs> As I say that clarifying the tower and it did come out sideways and then we've got the six of pentacles both came out kind of sideways so what i was saying literally just showed up in the cards and here we've got this ace of bones so someone does want to start over with you whatever this investment is if this was some sort of group investment um investment group something like that you uh got lowballed something didn't uh benefit for you as it should have and someone feels very bad about that they want to come back but they want to do it in a way where they don't have to admit accountability something about accountability here let's get the janky deck and see what else we get and then i'll close this out Whew, i'm running out of breath man somebody's running out of breath someone could have started a new exercise regimen in the mornings Something about morning exercise. Let's get a card for this King of Pentagrams. King of Pentagrams. Okay. AIG generated photo. And it landed here with this Five of Swords and this Judgment here. And it also landed in the reverse. So there's something fire starter. There's something about uh, fake photos AI generated photo, somebody generated flesh bot. Flesh bots also coming out in the reverse. Ooh, shit. So somebody generated some fake ass AIG. I mean, AI, AIG is an insurance company that we used to call Ain't I Greedy in, when I worked in insurance ages ago. Oh my God, that's coming through. That's so weird. Somebody's so greedy. They're so greedy and they're like trying to like, so say like someone's trying to be a content creator and they're trying to come off as authentic. They're using a bunch of AI generated GP, 
TV, whatever the hell that system is that writes for people. Someone is a phony ass man, I swear to God. Five of Swords. And whatever this is, you don't like it. You're not down with whatever this is. So if you were involved in some sort of work and maybe if you're an artist and you are very opinionated when it comes to the definition of art, real art, something about AI generation that you just uh, walked away from. You're not going to participate in whatever this is. So someone could have uh, tried to clone your, your work, your job, your site, whatever, your website, cloned it, taken it overseas to try to make money on the sly. Whatever this is, it's been reversed. So, whew, where was I? <laughs> King of Pentacles. Someone's doing some fake shit, man. I swear, people just can't get it together. They are lying to your face. Aquarius Leo Aries is clarifying this King of Pentagrams, which also landed on the Five of Cups. So I feel like this person, um, when you dealt with them, they were lying a lot. They're lying a lot. They could still be lying a lot. Crooked cop. So this person could be a crooked cop. Knows crooked cops. Lied. Someone lied. There's a crooked cop. Could be a Leo. Could be an Aquarius. Aries. Doesn't have to be, but could 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 be. Someone's stuttering. Someone's real gassy. Belchi. Huh. Interesting. King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles could also be like a cricket cop that has a very high standing, like a commander, chief, something like that. AI generated photo, something. This could even be some sort of false evidence generated, altered, altered video, something like that. Take it how it might resonate. They're lying to your face. So there's someone that's been a liar. They're still a liar. They haven't changed. Could be this King of Pentagrams. Or this could be you and your King of Pentagrams energy knowing that whatever this is, they're lying. They're a liar. Someone's a freaking liar. All right, let's keep going. Why is this Seven of Pentacles here? <laughs> Mixed race. Clarifying Seven of Pentacles. So there's, I said these Seven of Pentacles were two energies. There's one energy here that could be of mixed race. They only read autobiographies. They're not that smart. So whoever this mixed race person is, they ain't that smart. Let's get another card for this Seven of Pentacles here. <laughs> oh, Lord, how must it? Okay, this landed on AIG generated photo. I can't, like, it. I think it was reverse, not sure. We got spiritual bounty hunter and mass exodus here. So there's something in the uh, 3D narrative that a lot of people are seeing clearly for what it is. There's a lot of spiritual bounty hunters on the ground making a lot of revelations in this spiritual war. People are seeing things that they perhaps weren't open to seeing before. There's a mass exodus. I don't necessarily feel like this is a mass exodus of souls so much as it is a mass exodus of people who are awakening, seeing the current system for what it is, trash, and are making very different decisions and perhaps are even declining to participate in a lot of these new technologies that are cropping up and are simply designed to steal our creativity for profit. So, ah, I can't stop myself from watching you. So there also could be someone that has uh, taken your photos and done some sort of alteration with them that they look at often. I don't know, it's very weird, but someone is watching you. We got that here already, so twice. Make no mistake about it. So there's someone that you know from your past that doesn't care that you know that they're watching you but then there's this new person that just can't stop watching you and they don't know why oh my god high priestess Whew. this is someone is worn out you've worn someone out collective that's for sure mind games failed and landed kind of in the reverse on top of spiritual bounty hunter don't empower foolishness I just feel the collective is not doing anything of the sort. You're not empowering for certain people's foolishness. You're not co-signing 
on people's bullshit at all. Like, if you have friends, any friends left at all <laughs> throughout your awakening, if they say something and they're woohoo, wah wah about whatever, and you know it's BS, you're just to listen. You're like, listen, listen. You're full of it, okay? Talk to me when you've had some time, like a timeout to get your thoughts together. Don't come to me. Don't come to me with any BS. I don't feel like many in the collective are even that are at that level anymore where you could just sit up and listen to someone just whine, just whine constantly, consistently about their lives while not making any changes whatsoever, investments with these seven of pentacles to, to uh, stop complaining. Someone can't stop complaining when it comes to your energy. They're mad that their mind games continue to fail. They know you're not afraid. They know you're authentic. All right, is there anything else we want? Ugh, the rumors are true. Beware. I feel like this card goes both ways when it comes to the collective energy. There's people that are very much aware that you are skilled in, in the nature of the unknown, shall we say. And uh, it's... It's created a little bit of a stir in certain circles. You've created a little bit of a stir in certain circles. So, whew, I cannot go on with this reading. Whew, I'll be back with another one. If you're still here, please consider liking the video only if you like it and subscribing to the channel only if you like the channel. And I will see you guys soon.